8 fun facts about credit cards here are some surprising facts about credit cards that might just change the way you look at your wallet number one credit card numbers can be validated by in a checksum formula valid credit card numbers follow a formula known as the loan algorithm with this algorithm starting from the right you double every second digit for instance 1111 would become 2121 you then add together all of the results digits if the number you come up with is divisible by 10 then the credit card number is valid if it it is not divisible by 10 it's an invalid card number number two the first digit of your credit card tells what industry issued the card you may have noticed that all of your credit cards from the same provider start with the same number that isn't an accident the first digit of a credit card indicates what industry issued the card one and two indicate an airline card three is for travel and entertainment industry four and five are for banking institutions six is for merchandising and banking seven is for gas cards eight is for telecommunications and nine is for assignments by national standards bodies american express account numbers start with a3 visa account with a4 mastercard accounts with a5 and discover accounts with a6 number three your card expires but your account doesn't an expiration serves two parts poses first a physical credit card can only last for about three to four years worth for swiping and dipping an expiration date provide your issuer with a date on which to send you a new card before the old one falls apart second the expiration offers a small measure of identity theft protection of cardholders since it is another piece of information that you would only have if you have the card in your possession most credit cards companies send you a new card before your current one expires if for some reason they don't and you don't try to use a debit card that's past its expiration date it will be declined but your account should be valid you just need to ask your card issuer for a new card number four farming communities with used credit cards in the 19th century long before credit cards were accepted everywhere as payment farmers would rely on credit extended by local general stores in the 19th and early 20th century farmers would need to use credit at their local store for at least part of the year because their income was seasonal in areas with a large number of farmers stores started issuing credit cards initially made for cardboard to help identify which customers were associated with which accounts number five credit cards were invented by several different people john brick created the first bank issued credit card in 1946 bricks was a banker with flatbus national bank of new york and he invented the charge IT card, which was technically a charge card since the balance had to be paid in full each month. However, charge it was only available for customers of Bricks Bank, and the card could only be used for local purchases. In 1950, Frank, head of Hamilton Credit Corporation, created the diners club card the first credit card that could be used in more than one store namara came up with the idea for such a card after a business meal at a major new york restaurant he had changed his suit before the dinner and forgotten his wallet in his other jacket after that embarrassing incident he occurred to make namara that it would be useful to have a non-cash method of paying for meals the dinner's club card was born when it was first introduced the card was issued to 
fewer than 200 people and was only accepted at 27 restaurants in New York. However, within a year, more than 20,000 people were using it. Number 6. Single women could not get credit cards until 1974. Until the passage of the Equal Credit Opportunity Act of 1974, women could not get a credit card without a husband as a so senior. That means single women and married women who wished to establish credit separate from their spouses were denied credit cards. The 1974 law made it illegal for creditors to discriminate against applicants on the basis of race, color, religion, natural, national origin, sex, or marital status. Number 7. Led in to end all the credit cards on earth would circle the globe 3.5 times. As of 2013, there were over 1.635 billion credit cards in circulation around the world, according to Super Money. If all of those credit cards were led in to end, they would stretch over 86,981 miles, which would circle the earth three and a half times. Number eight, there are 10,000 worldwide credit card transactions every second. The American Bankers Association estimated in March of 2009 that there are nearly 10,000 credit card transactions occurring every single second worldwide. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to get more daily updates. Thank you.